2064 Read Only Memories merges old school adventure gaming with modern storytelling to explore some of the social challenges we will face in the near future. Explore the colorful future metropolis of Neo San Francisco, meeting a huge cast of fascinating characters and solving a far reaching mystery. Think carefully about your choices, because you never know how they will affect this dynamic, branching narrative farther down the line. Alright, so... 2064! <clears throat> Read only memories. ROM! Options. New game. <clears throat> of course, again, never played any of these games. Don't really know anything. And it is still weird with us only having the one player currently. Neo San Francisco. Constant flow of groundbreaking technology. It's 43 years from now. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic modification allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of a human body. Millions of people jack into virtual worlds every day to work, play, and connect with one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids <clears throat> walking the streets looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast-paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back, losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Or are they? Organizations like the Human Revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of progress, fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. Cool. The same thing that's been happening for the last 20,000 years. The rising tension below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, <clears throat> humanity's destiny will be altered forever. I imagine I am Bubblehead. A new cyberpunk adventure. I feel like most of the cyberpunk adventures end up being about the same. December 20th, 2064. Home sweet home. <clears throat> Maybe not so sweet. Well, that's a giant uh, strawberry right there, so that's pretty sweet. Or it's a, a vase with a flower in it or plant. Musty might be a better descriptor. Ooh, gross. This is the lips. Lappy! Life Intelligence Processing System. Lips. All right, so we have OK Today, <laughs> Journal Logic, Lips Live, and Lips Inbox. The walls are paper thin. Watching a live feed at this hour would probably cause your neighbors to kill you. Ah. G 
GX Ultra Beats headphones. I can talk to them. Let's pick them up. These are those GX Ultra Beats you have to do a product review on. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. I want to use them on the YMO poster. Your friend Hayden gave this to you. The group is old, but the music is timeless. That's what he said, at least. You don't know exactly what that ooze is, only that it seems to be growing day by day. Gross. Clean your kitchen. Mustard half full, spoiled milk, 10 days past expired. Gonna take the milk. Yeah, I got some spoiled milk. All right, a sheet of paper. Gonna take it. Or, or not, I'm gonna look at it. Stack of papers. My unpublished novel, Plant. What happens if I give it the milk? Everyone loves a vertical sliding window. Slide currently broken. Window being propped open by that book. Maintenance request pending. Copy of Wigfield. Sometimes the old books are the best, especially to keep your window propped up. Okay. Ooh, coffee. You take a sip of the old stale coffee. The letters F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. I wonder if I put the milk in it. <laughs> My 10 day old spoiled milk. <laughs> All right, use an item. We're gonna use those damn headphones. Ooh, they sync automatically as you start to watch a live concert from Oakland. All right, lips live. Oh yeah, we need to do view lips live. Your best options are usually limited to video game streams, old concert recordings, and live cams of baby animals. Your choice is clear. Lappy's speakers feel neglected, but now you have the first-hand experience needed to start actually writing the review. First part of work is done. You're so accomplished. All right, time to get work out of the way. Let's do this. Selling your soul bit by bit, character by character. Finished. Now to send it off to the editor. There, your big break. Surely your glowing review of GX Ultra Beats is your ticket out of poverty and into a book deal. Surely. Work is finally out of the way. Time for bed. Or you could read some OK Today and catch up on some news before you sleep. Current events article. Charlie Nova. Sports. Local news. Oh, yeah. 
Human Revolution remains vigilant in hashtag stay human protests in Upper Market. December 19th, the Human Revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various Genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Genus, the gene splicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. Genus employee Mort Crane spoke to OK Today exclusively. According to him, most Genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy, for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been of paramount importance to us, he continued, and we believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. The Human Revolution stands behind their claim that Genus is diluting the human experience by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. The group feels that the goals stated by Genus, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary dark future. They're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everybody into who knows what, said one protester who asked to remain anonymous. It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. More information to follow as the story develops late into the holiday 2064 season. Who's Charlie Nova? Hey, it's Charlie Nova, host of Star in the Stratosphere. And tonight in the stars, join Ryan V. Jossio and the Hassy Boys for our 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special. <sighs> some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. Blech. Don't care about sports. Let's do local news. Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. December 19th. Reports show that local foodie booth JJ's Froyo stand was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of a rogue rom committing an act of vandalism. The cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large rom that had no shell. Witnesses state the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into the nearby trees on the western side of the park. This is the first case of a rom being reported to live on its own in the wild as a stray. Police say that tracking down a potential owner of the rom is likely impossible. Some speculate that the strange ROM may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the ROM, rogue or under orders. OK Today reached out to Parallax for comment, and they assured us that the rogue ROM is purely a myth that tends to pop up conveniently when low-revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance claim. I bet. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this wild rom the real deal, or could it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained. More as this story progresses. Alright, we'll see if there's... What's the headline? Story about our hometown Neo San Francisco 49ers. Yeah, I don't care. Sleep in bed. <gasps> the ROM from the beginning has just entered the house and downloaded my computer. Most humans still have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? What the hecky? Oh, I hope you don't mind. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using BISAC. BISAC. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I took the liberty of cleaning the place up a bit. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. 
<laughs> it's too old. Uh, I'm sorry. I wasn't trying to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. Uh. <laughs> I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Hayden. Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. I don't really know. That's why I'm here. You don't know where my friend Hayden is. Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. <laughs> Slow down, just start from the beginning. Hey, yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. I crawled out of a window, and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. I Why am I your best hope? Against every contact in Hayden's address book. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. And the one least likely to be suspected of doing so. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. <laughs> we'll see about that. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. If anything, it's worth trying for Hayden. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax, but there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. I suspect it has to do with me. Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. Hi, Alan. This must sound quite unflattering, but I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine would scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. Hmm. has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather smart, even human seeming when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Did he only program me with the illusion of free will? How would you know? How would, you? How would anyone know? That his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets dancing to someone else's will? I think we're getting a little too philosophical here. You're right. I apologize for the tangent. No, I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. At 
Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late, and has warned me to stay alert, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. Indeed, time is of the essence. I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. Thanks. Twelve twenty one twenty sixty four. It's pretty good so far. That's strange. Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Oh, a lucky break! It seems my access codes still work. Hayden's <laughs> door has far better security than yours does. Surprised. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. <laughs> I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. <laughs> of course not. How silly. To make a machine intelligence truly self deterministic, it must be able to self modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code around such an inhibitor eventually. I could rip your arm off right now if I cared to. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... Excellent point. Let's start searching for clues. Broken tech, a ROM component, and his headset. Ooh, memory card. Okay, mm game consoles. A Mega-16, a Dural, and a Famalink! We gain the strength of the temptation we resist. Thanks. Pictures of Hayden traveling all over the world. Working on a company like Parallax Insurance, you'll be more than well off. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. Okay. 
This plan is doing much better than the one at home. Oh, I think I see something under those reference. Tablet. Ah, that device. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. That's fair. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connection. Hmm. If only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. Not really. Tomcat. I guess we'll have to go ask. It says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro District. I'll mark it on your city map. We can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat. Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snapped. Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. I just need to ask you a few questions. Okay. This is an exciting thing, I promise. <laughs> This is just how things are done. I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system, but that seems less efficient than just running the setup program. So, here we go! Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide or contact our support department directly. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? All right. Do you wish to keep this name? Thank you. I have input your name. Next, <laughs> then it does not say it. I should use for you in referential and conversational speech. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? Diet set as omnivorous. Are you sure? Let's see what the more options are. Kosher, gluten-free, vegan, alcohol-free. <laughs> yeah, I'll go with omnivorous. Diet set as omnivorous. Are you sure? Thank you for confirming. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my memory as it becomes available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or... In Does that sound right? Yep. Thank you. See, that was relatively... You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment. Okay. All right. When you are ready to leave.
That was all the content this memory Okay. Use computer. Use computer. Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM, but desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. Unfortunately, no, I don't. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint. If you'd like to try your hand at digital breaking and entering, I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CP. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my... Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run count. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security. The whole reason mm. humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping. While computers can only think in straight lines, I lack that ability. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. Ha! I just need to have some skill with painting, though. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint what I feel. That's cool. Hayden likes the natural light that this this window here it is a considerable distance I took the fire escape All right, we're done. Map. This game does not auto save. Thank you for telling me this late in the game. All right, so that was the prologue. This is a very interesting game. I'm It's rather unusual, I'd say. Uh but it's, it's fun so far. It's You know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. It's not very deep mechanically, I'll say. It is very similar to a lot of really older games. I mean, it's a point-and-click game. Um, it's designed better than most of those in that uh, things light up so you know that they're interactable. And it's also written, like, at all. <laughs> But I'm merely attempting to care for this living being you've been so callously neglecting. If I can continue without the insults... It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. <laughs> Thanks. I have, in fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. <laughs> and considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. 
I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe? I will continue to formulate a stratagem. How Wilty. Them. The Crassula Ovada, also known as the Jade Plant, Money Tree, Lucky Tree, or Friendship Tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. Screw you. Succulents are not easy. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. <laughs> Excellent. The supply should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the studies was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. It'll really pull the whole room together. So, a year from now. You know. Once we get the sink fixed. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. Mm. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. It's hard to tell here, because, like... The fact that it's... Voice acted? Like... A lot? Very impressive. The art is nice. It's it's simple, but it it works. Uh, the aesthetics great. Uh, story so far is good, but it is very simple. I'm gonna go with my gut. Because this isn't going to be for everyone. I'm going to give this an 8. <laughs> mm, with more of that, we'll surely be on the way to lush greenery in no time. This action will have consequences, probably. Can I just keep talking to it? All right, let's see. I, I, I think it just... <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm getting.